Over the years, I've come through the GPO building on numerous occasions. And as I walk through the building today and up the grand staircase from the colonnades, I thought what stories this building could tell. My name is Lewis and I have been working in this iconic building for over 13 years as a housekeeper. Every corner in this building has a story to tell, including the beautiful Heritage Long Suite, which used to be the former Postmaster General's office. I worked here almost 100 years ago now, actually 55 years ago. I first started in the main trunk exchange, which was on the third floor of the GPO, which was calls within New South Wales. It was answer calls with your plug, connect them to something, to the right place on the switchboard. I came to Australia in 1951 at the age of 19. In the GPO, you had to learn where all the mail went in New South Wales. Hi, I've just come from England. Know nothing about New South Wales. I can remember a man and a woman were talking and she was trying to say to him, I love you. And he just wasn't picking it up with the interference on the line. And he said, say it again. And she said it about three times. So in the end, I went across the circuit and I said, I love you. And he said, oh, thank you, operator. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I worked in staff pay. I gave Ian a pay rise as required. Just forgot to give him his back money and he wasn't very happy. So he rang up to complain. And I've been paying for it ever since. 42 years 42 of marriage years and of he's marriage. still paying. <laughs> there were thousands of parcels and that's why we were employed because it was the 12 days before Christmas and you did that for 13 hours a day. I came to work at the GPO because it was school holidays. I would have been about 14. I think the advice that my parents gave me was to get a job that would be secure and of course nothing at that stage could have been more secure than working for the PNG. They taught us the touch type, they would do the Morse code, and electricity, all that sort of thing. It was very exciting, of course, because I'd just left school, so it was a whole new world. The GPO had all sorts of groupings on different floors. When I started, I had no idea what phonograms really meant or what I was going to do. It must have been the telegrams, I guess, but we were to ring the people up and deliver the message over the phone. Most of the telegrams used to say, happy birthday, and I was always a bit of a show off. So rather than just reading out boring old happy birthday, I used to sing happy birthday to you. And I thought that was very funny. <laughs> the last Morse code message was sent on the 13th of December, 1962. This is a photo of the message actually being transmitted. It was sent by a man named Harry Winchester. Harry retired that day, and they gave Harry the honour of sending the very last Morse code message. There's a young bloke sitting down there in the whitish shirt. That's me. I was 24 years old at that time, just back from being married, actually. So it's a very historical photo. I can actually nearly name every man in that photo. One of the wonderful things about the GPO was its position in the city. It was literally at the heart of the city. My office was actually in the first floor of the old sandstone building on the corner of Pitt Street and uh, Martin Place. So I could actually look out the window and hear the band playing at uh, lunchtime for the military celebrations and things of that nature. I was very impressed with the building because of the beautiful stonework. It's lovely to come into the building. It really has a heritage lovely feel to it. But particularly when you go down to the basement and you realise that this building has been part of Sydney's history for so many years. And it was staffed by basically two classes of people. There were youngsters like me and a lot of um, older hands. I remember one of them coming to me and saying, it's a bit hot, you feel like a drink. I went with him and we went down to the basement. We went along a tunnel and out through a door and lo and behold, we're in Angel Place. Coming back today to the GPO building, I walked along the colonnade and it was just like when I first arrived in Sydney. My years at the GPO were wonderful. I was here for 16 years and I just loved every minute of it. For almost a century and a half, the Sydney General Post Office has been the city's centrepiece. The Fullerton Hotel Sydney looks forward to creating new Fullerton memories with our guests. <laughs>